This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome to the 24th or 25th episode of this uh, horror series. And many of you asked me to create some trigger events, uh, so let's create some trigger events. Um, first thing that I want to create is uh, very common stuff that you can see in horror games. You go through the doors and the glass breaks, like the light breaks. So it's very simple to do this and I will show you how. Um, so let's just use the house level that we created for the example for this. And let's uh, just add some cover so we can check if it um, really works. So we can just do it like this. I'm just doing it quickly very... Um, we can take some time of course if you're working on your level. Let me just see from where is this, uh, oh yeah, this is flickering light, we can delete that. Okay, so I want to have a light here, but when this light, um, when when uh, the player, sorry, when the player goes through these doors, this light should uh, be destroyed. So, for example, I'm gonna put simple point light here just for the testing pur purposes, and I can call it room light one, like that. So, now what I can do is uh, I can go to my level blueprint, and if, I'm, if I click this light, I can get a reference to it, like this. So now I can create custom event, and call it break light, break room light. And now I can set, uh, I can even destroy the actor if I want. This may be the best thing that you can do, so you remove the actor. But if you are planning to make the light to be able to turn on again, then I wouldn't destroy it, I would just adjust the sensitivity to zero, like certain intensity. intensity intensity <laughs> and you would set that to zero uh, but for me I want to destroy the actor but before I destroy the actor I want to play sound that is like breaking the glass you cannot put it behind because the actor is gonna get destroyed and this is not going to be run so let's call it here play sound to D so this is how you would play a sound and we can select a uh, glass smash yeah this is just a free sound that i found in internet you can really get any sound doesn't matter but i'm not gonna i'm not going to link it because it's copyrighted so um just get uh, something for yourself that is not copyrighted and you can use it or get something that uh, allows for commercial use so we have this break room light but we also need to create trigger box so we can just get the trigger box so this is the way i like to go about the levels when i create horror games because most of the horror games they most of the mechanics are not really repetitive so i just hard code them in the level and it's much faster much easier to get prototype going and uh, yeah later later on you can adjust it to your likings but for me i'm just going to make it like this and break light trigger box. Okay, so now let's select this, make sure you select the right one. So break light trigger box. What I can do now is I can right click and I'm not gonna create a reference, but I'm gonna add event just like we did for here. So here I'm gonna add on actor begin overlap. Perfect. So now what I'm gonna do, first of all, here with the room light, I will first check if it's valid. And why I'm doing this is basically if, uh, for example, just for some example, you decide to remove this light from your level, you're gonna get errors if you try to destroy the light that is already removed, right? So if you come and say, okay, I don't want this light here anymore, I remove it, but you forgot to put is valid here, then basically you're gonna get 
errors and I'm gonna show you. So I can actually just show you right now so you can see what I'm uh, what I mean by that. It's good to see from the example that's uh, that's how you learn easier. And here uh, when we overlap with this trigger box we just want to break room light. So we call this event that we created here. Okay so right now it would work so let's go, go through the doors. Yes, it broke. But what if I remove this light now? For example, I'm just gonna quickly remove it. Um, like that. And if I go now through, oh, sorry. If I go now through the doors, I'm gonna get the error. And it says access none trying to read property. And what it means is basically there is no light, we cannot read it, so you know, it's pointless. So you get the error. But now, if we try to do it again, it's not gonna work because we need another reference. So just again click it and reference it. And now, uh, when we do open the doors it will work fine just like it did before as you can see so that's why we need is valid because we first want to check if the light is valid and if it is we're gonna destroy the actor but if it's not I'm just gonna print string this is only for development purposes it's not gonna be seen in your final game but I'm gonna say there is no light and I'm also gonna type it like this Actually, I'm not gonna type it like an error, I'm just gonna type it as a warning. Because it's not really an error anymore. Perfect. So, this now will work perfectly. Even if you remove the light, uh, you're still gonna have this code here. It's not gonna run, but at least it's not going to give you any errors. Okay. Also here, when I break this uh, light, we have a problem, because if I go back, I can break it one, like again, again, again. So look at this now. I go, it breaks it. Wait, what? Wait, it should be breaking it. That's weird. That's very weird. So it should be destroying the... Let me check that again. Also let me call this again. File. So it is running it. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, so basically, now it should work. Yeah, so the problem was that it says, it says destroy actor self, but the self is actually a house blueprint because I forgot we are not in the actor blueprint, we are in the level blueprint. So the self would reference for the level. So basically we try to destroy the level. Um, yeah, so that's why it didn't work and I'm actually glad uh, this happened on the video that I didn't take any consideration into it. So now you can uh, see from the first hand how it looks like when something is weird. So always you need to check multiple times what's happening. Uh, but as you can see now it works. Okay, so back to the point. Uh, here we have a problem. Because look, we can break this room light when we go through the trigger box. But as you can see now, we are gonna break it once. But if we go back to the trigger box, it's gonna say, warning, there is no light. And we can re-trigger it. But at least we are not getting errors because of uh, this node. But still, we are getting warnings. So let's do this very simple. Uh, thanks God, Unreal Engine made it uh, very, very simple. 
So you can just pull and type do once and it will do what it says. It will do it only once. So when I compile now and I play, I can go through the doors. It will do it only once. And now, as you see, I'm not getting any messages anymore because this actor simply doesn't exist anymore and this trigger box cannot do anything about it anymore. So yeah, this is a very simple way of creating a very very simple trigger event, but I just want to show you how you can add multiple of those in your levels. Later on I'm gonna create a m much more examples of this, so this is just really a beginning. So thank you guys for watching and see ya in the next episode.